I've had my eye on all kinds of antique carved wood boxes, the kind that come from old Europe and early America. And I was thinking that I want to try to recreate the look of those old carved wood boxes. Follow along with me while I try to recreate that look using the new IOD Primitive Mold. Oh, and hey, while you're here, go ahead and check the description box. There's a link below with a playlist that we've put together. Join me and a bunch of other stockists to see what we have got to share from the new IOD Summer Release. I'll be preparing all of my mold castings in advance. Dust the mold with cornstarch so that the air dry clay will easily release. Break off a soft piece of the air dry clay into about the size of the element that you want to cast. Then I press the clay into that mold, removing the excess with my thumbs. the micro rim as a guide to level out the clay with your thumbs and remove any excess. I can also use a plastic card or a paint scraper or a palette knife to really flatten out the back of that mold. I've already worked out a layout in advance, so I just want to be sure that I cast enough molds to finish my design. And then in order for them to dry flat, I will place the wet clay molds onto a baker's rack so that they get good airflow all the way around. That's going to make them dry flat with very minimal cracking or distortion or warping as the clay dries. When the molds have completely dried, I'm going to arrange them on the box in the pattern that I had planned out. Using your favorite glue, go ahead and glue down each of the molds one at a time. I use the cotton swab to clean up any extra glue that oozes out from underneath the molds. I've got to paint my box. I'm mixing up a paint color that resembles the look of a medium brown wood tone. I've mixed orange and blue to create brown. Then go ahead and apply the first coat of paint over the box. You just want to assure that you have complete coverage over the molds. I let the first coat dry and then mix up another tone of that medium wood color. While I'm applying the second coat, I'm using a hair dryer to help to speed up the drying time. And at the same time, I'm brushing out that paint as it's drying to create 
a texture which resembles the carved wood. Apply a sealer over the dried paint. When the sealer has dried, I'm going to apply a darker glaze to achieve even more of a wood tone effect. There's a link in the description box below, and I have included all of the colors that I use for my project. Then with a damp cloth, I'll remove the excess liquid patina. I want to use consistent, long, even strokes with the damp cloth to create the effect of wood grain. When the glaze is completely dry, I'm going to add one more layer of white wax to create that beautiful, dusky, ancient look. Then use a clear wax like an eraser to remove the excess. I really love the final look that I created with the IOD primitive mold, some paint, and waxes. You'll find links to all the products that I used in the description box below. And don't forget, we are available at ellenjgoods.com or at our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York. Unlock it. Yeah. I took a wooden box and I made it look like a wooden box.